Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Bigfoot for another try. Get big guy. I have been basically playing off screen and trying to put together strategies that seem to be helpful. Uh, I will tell you, it is not easy no matter what you do, but I think I may be on to something. The last time I went through off screen, I managed to get Bigfoot's health very, very far down. And I knew, made a few mistakes along the way, but I know now what not to do. And had I completed what I was doing near the end, I think I would have actually beaten him. But ran out of health kits, and so we got to start over again. But there's a good chance I could pull it off. Now, I don't know if I've said earlier, but each one of these characters that we play here, they each have specific attributes that make them more advantageous in certain situations now if you're hunting as a team you might want to take on these roles like he's probably the firearms expert and it gives he has higher firearms damage 10 percent more melee damage the girl jessica is faster 50, i think 10 percent faster and she's got 15 percent better healing efficiency thomas he has got 15% vitality so and 5% explosive damage. You might want to use him when you're trying to or get him to blow up Bigfoot with explosives. And then you've got William who's got 15% blind duration and 20% reload speed. You might want to have him stand back and fire like crazy. <laughs> so if you're playing with him, I think he might be the most challenging if you're playing by yourself. I think he's probably second best. Well, it may be a toss-up between him and him, honestly. If you're playing by yourself, I think she's the best only because speed is very important when you're playing solo. you got to be able to get away from the big guy. And there have been many times that I've been able to completely avoid him by running around buildings, trees, and just simply hiding <laughs> so that he passes me by and she is fast enough to do that we're gonna go ahead and give this a start and it's there's a lot of things you got to kind of take note as you're going as you find points of interest or POIs you need to make sure you look for scraps of paper those scraps of paper may have codes on them that can unlock gun safes there is a automatic weapon here, and if you're playing solo, it is crucial that you have that weapon. There is also a sniper rifle, but I don't think it's as crucial. And the automatic weapon is found in the watchtower. We're going to try to get to that point in this session if we can. Now, we're going to go ahead and begin. The key thing here is also to keep moving where there are multiple copies of these all throughout the map so you may need to remember when you see another one that you got to come back and pick it up all right we're ready to rock and roll and don't step on the fires <laughs> They do hurt a little bit. Not too bad, but enough. You don't need to lose any more health than necessary. Make sure you check all coolers and all boxes. Some boxes cannot be opened, some can. Make sure you get that. You can only carry so many signal flares, which is kind of aggravating, but and get as many first aid kits as possible. You are going to take damage. There is no way around it. Unless you are seriously good with your agility skills, you're gonna get hurt. This flare gun is seriously needed as well. There's a lot of things you just gotta really pay attention to, but the flare gun can scare him off if you shoot him right in his face. It'll stun him and he'll run off. It will save your life. Doesn't hurt him. But at that point, just getting him off of your butt is good enough. Like I said, check everything. There's ammo. Whoops. 
these numbers mean nothing. Okay, it is already night one, but he doesn't usually attack right away. Also, they fixed the problem where he could hurt you in the camper even when the door is closed. That was kind of a... That was something that happened in my first episode, and I, apparently they... It was a glitch. They weren't... He isn't supposed to do that. That's a Glock. You can scroll that and use that. The Glock does a little damage to him. I find it to be useful for scaring off the bears and the wolves. Sometimes you're going to have to fight him anyway. It doesn't matter. But, I think we have checked everything. It's so much here. Yeah, wait a minute. There's one. Sometimes I miss stuff. Okay, I got everything here. Here's the... I don't know what happens if you get the four missing persons. I found three out of four the last time. Here's the night vision. Another trap. Yeah, you gotta really, really look. The only problem is, is you also have to kind of stand still to do it. And that's how he finds you. Now, what I usually do is I run to the north first. Now I'm going to run over here, see if I can't find some of the first items over here. And he's knocking wood. That's something the Bigfoot are supposed to do. It's basically telling you you're, he's coming to get you. <laughs> You also gotta watch for things like that. That's that would have hurt you. Sometimes trees will fall. Okay, there's a shelter over here. Make sure you check all these things. There's another flare gun bullet that we could use. More ammo. Radio. Radio's just there for aesthetics. It's not used for anything as far as I can tell. Now we need to head to the campground if we can. I'm going to try to skirt the edge of these rocks. Stay off the main road as long as I can. It's probably a good idea to have your... God, I'm having some serious trouble with my stamina. Well. Now, uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of supplies at this first campground. Did find out in the last episode that although Bigfoot cannot swim, he can chuck a spear at you <laughs> while you're in the water. Also got to look for traps. It's a little harder to find them in the dark. There is one right there. You see that tree there, that little, that short tree. There's a trap right around there somewhere. Those short trees are where they hide them. Okay, let me see. I think there might be a shotgun in here. I'm not sure. There are some melee weapons. We've got a wrench. Drone battery. You'd think a shovel would be a melee weapon, but it's not. Let's see. I had to go away for just a moment there, guys. But you can save the game at any point. Sometimes if you're doing really well, I would suggest doing that. Honestly. <laughs> Could be very beneficial. 
This is also another location you can find a, a Glock. Now this is getting a little tricky because even though it's night one, he's still out there. I thought for a while there that there were not anything in the outhouses, but there are sometimes stuff in there. Just not very often. First aid kit. Don't forget to check the drawers below. See? Okay, that's nothing. Check for papers in every cabin. You might find a code. Okay, nothing in there. Sometimes I try to skirt the buildings. Check this. Sometimes there's a there'll be a trap or a gas can or a butane tank. I usually leave the doors open so that I remember which places I've checked once I leave. Okay, here's a piece of paper. Uh, that's just a note from those people that are missing. Not what we're looking for. More ammo. That's a newspaper. That's a laptop that I think if you're with other people you could use. See? I missed those bottom drawers the first time I played this game. Actually, I missed a lot of things the first time I played this game. <laughs> okay, now it's daylight again. I did not see him. I'm not complaining. <laughs> the more I can access, the better. Oh. You will eventually reach a limit on how much ammo you can carry. There's another note. Yeah, apparently those people were looking for each other. There's a crowbar, so that's another melee weapon you can use. Make sure you look up on the shelves. I've missed stuff that way, too. One thing I want you to know, too. Note this. Some of these buildings have these little porches that come off like this. You've got the ones that you just walk onto. Then you got these. These you need to keep note of. They're very important later on. We'll, you will see for a part of my strategy. Okay. Nothing. There's a shotgun. Basically, you hit number one and you can scroll the mouse and use the shotgun. Shotgun is more powerful than the rifle. There's an axe, it's another melee weapon. Okay, it looks like we've got everything out of here. Did I check that? Alright. Leave that open so I know I've been there. Okay, those trees right there, those are traps. Stay clear of those. Okay, we got us a battery. That's our first explosive. That one shocks the living bejesus. <clears throat> the battery shocks the living bejesus out of him. If you can do it right. It's a map. Don't think there's anything else in here. You can strum the guitar. That's about it. Okay, those trees we need to avoid. We've circled the entire camp. So now we're going to head 
This way. Okay. Let's make it sure there wasn't anything on there we could use. Check the outhouse. There's nothing in there. Climb over that. Check the waterfall. Now the people that are dead, they can be placed random spots. Supposedly one of them died over here, but I have not been able to find them. So I've been checking. See anything I can use here? Just a lot of trash. <clears throat> Although he can't swim, he can walk through the creek. General Sherman tree. There are two large sequoia trees. There's this one and another one to the east. This is the Native American campground. <clears throat> There's some time loot to be found here too. There's another spot for the axe if you need it. Oh, wait a minute, did I check? Yeah, I did. Okay. Can't use the bow and arrow, which is too bad. That'd be nice. Usually I can find ammo on this side, but I don't see any. And there's a black bear. Yeah, he's knocking wood again. I think there's another shelter over here. Yep. Shelter number one. There's some ammo. I think that's all there is this time. It's getting to be night again. Can't say I've ever checked over under here. Okay, there's nothing under there to Always worth a look. There, I don't know how many caves there are. I found Two of them. I think there's actually supposed to be three. Oh, I keep running out of stamina. Night two, guys. Okay, this. Cedar Grove Lodge. Now I'm going to place my first camera right there. We're going to put a trap out here. At least we'll have a little bit of a warning. Let's see, is there anything in here that we can use? Not so far. There's more ammo. All the TV does is show you a clip of the Gimlin Patterson video, or film. <laughs> okay, nothing there. There's another trap. Yep, 
he's out and about. There should be a code somewhere for this one, too. I don't remember what's actually in that. You can find them in the hunting towers. You can find them stuck to archery boards. <sighs> Found them in a number of locations. Alright, we're getting a little close here. We may need to set up some stuff here because he's going to come probably before I can get out of here. We're gonna let's see set up the battery now this bed's important and I will show you why it's important once he makes an appearance yeah I think the last time my code was two two eight five. Not this time. Guess that changes too. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna wait him out for a little bit here. Here he comes. He got caught in the trap. Oh, he's mad. And he's trying to break in. get you there but and he doesn't hurt you as bad he took a little bit of health but not nearly as much but we took a lot out of him that time and he broke our trap okay that one's still good he's mad he's really mad <laughs> Okay, so we've got nothing extra in there. I need a note. If I see another... Well, actually, I can pick up another battery this time. There might be a point of interest over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, there may be a dead body here. This is one of the places I have found dead bodies. Oh boy. Ah, found another battery. Perfect. Couldn't ask her better than that. I think that's all to be found. I have not seen a dead body though this time. Like I said, sometimes all these things are found in different locations. Okay, we got something else over here. Oh yeah, we're getting near the cave. That's the cave sound. I think it's actually below us. So we're gonna go check it out.
Where? I thought it was over here. Apparently not. stamina build up. There we go. We should be large. Very easy to get turned around here. Okay, there's a hunting tower. Now we gotta watch for traps. See that tree that's bent? Right behind it is a short tree, and there is a trap there. I forget about those darn things all the time. Alright, let's see here. Got a little more ammo. Can't try to remember what's up here. Like I said, there is a cave around here somewhere. I'm just falling rocks. Ah, radio tower. There's usually some pretty good loot here. I thought it was interesting that there is a symbol of an alien right there. Not sure what that's about. <laughs> okay, now we need to head back down. Funny thing is, there's not really much of anything in any of the caves. Usually just a lot of bones. thing about this location sometimes you might run into a bear there's another cabin over here Bookshaki Lodge there's our butane tank some more signal flares Ah, and a gas tank. 
Now we have a full contingent of explosives. Now if we see any others, we need to remember where they are. Reindeer. Uh, happy Pants is going off again. I wish you could carry more flares. That's... We can't pick that up. Ah, goody. <laughs> Time to move on. I think it might be time to see if we can't locate that automatic weapon now. We're going to need to find the code for it. <coughs> ah, gotta let my stamina build up. I don't see anywhere where it tells you how much stamina you have. You just get tired. Yeah, check the police car. Ooh, fireworks. That doesn't hurt him, but it will distract him. Sometimes that's all you need. That tree is very suspicious looking. I think we're going to skirt around it. Just about night. Yep. Night number three. Okay, we're gonna place another camera right here. Gonna put another trap. 